Come here a moment! Look here! The spoils of war! Give me a hand with this. Time is behind if you can't just the thing. For the finish. <laughs> Good plundering here. Hey, come here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can't do this alone. That's it. <laughs> Back to the ship. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Let me see what you have. Wonderful! This should complete my collection! Dai Dulci Fruamini! Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one. No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. Hamptonshire has fallen, and with it the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then, you have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. Something? <laughs> Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good jarl. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together.
I am honored to stand before you, Gunner, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the brother of future and heen, and the sword tower of hope, a premonition. And the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Tiur enaid val de maras, a dean as strong aburatiki, a gval as he fears, but kalon and head van derati. Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let us head for Evan Gillen, Trebowid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I grisk of a Valkalon, adoration of Feeth and Bith. This is the greatest day of my life! Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. the marriage customs in your country, Itham. Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. <laughs> You've been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer, always searching. Never finding. Maybe one day. Volker. I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. I can't change my Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Bridget, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to Boma. Hope you never see worse in the case me the years. Yes, of course. I, uh... As I say, it is wonderful to have you. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. 
The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. <clears throat> Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunnar so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Andvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your friendship. And I by yours. Eivor. I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so. But it is not the love of a wife and her husband. It was not an easy decision. But after we talked with honesty, we embraced more warmly than we have in a great while. I think we will be happy. I hope so. And I am pleased for you. I am pleased for myself. Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. And what about you? What are you looking for? I have all I need right here. With you. With our people. I'm grateful. So much of our prosperity we owe to you. I hardly know where to begin. You are my truest friend, Ranvi. My right hand. My greatest ally. I give you my word that it will always be so. I'm happiest by your side, and in your company. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Eivor, I want to thank you on behalf of myself and Bridget. Our wedding was the greatest day of my life. And it could never have gone so well without you. Truly, Gunnar. It was my pleasure. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
Item, I have the codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah, wonderful. We have so little writing from the original hidden ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the Codex pages you found. Speak with him if you are curious to see it. You look well today, Eivor. Good to see you. Redder, Hytham says you have an old piece of writing from the early Hidden Ones. Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one Hidden One to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. A very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic, so it may not mean much to you, but you're free to have a look. Creep? What do you have today? I'm off. Be well, friend. Goodbye for now. A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and without the Empire of Augustus, called the Magus Codex. It names you directly as one of the founders of the Hidden Ones, apart from putting your life in danger. It flies in the face of what we have tried to achieve with our brotherhood. We are justice seekers who shun the light of praise for our good works and who must live in the shadows of our triumphs. Should you see any pages of this Codex, I advise you to destroy them. Keep the dream of our Hidden Ones alive. Now, I am not so naive to think this will be a simple task. Few men and women are suited to keeping such secrets for so long. And it may be that we will fail in the end, but we will have failed in the name of righteousness. Take care, my love. My Iset. My Northern Star. Even in my waning years, I am ever your Osiris. Let our Horus live on beyond us. I think of you often, my jewel. At sunrise and twilight, at new moon and full, when the rain falls and the breath of a moon rides across my neck, I remember you kissing me, just there, and I will take that feeling to my tomb. man brings you biscuits. Do you give them to your children? I would not let good food go to waste. I would let my children starve. A serpent's gift will always end in malice. Sweet from evil remains sweet, even if it crumbles quickly in their hands. Thirsty as a flaming fish. You win if you can down it faster than me. Ready your cup! Think you can guzzle the gun? Prove it! Oh. 
Too slow So slow. You're going to start. We must all turn to the Orther. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, but true power. You desecrate the very purpose of life. No, no, no. I place power on power. The great becomes greater. You will see. Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To hell I'm with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a Reeve. Prestis al talwe! Nisim for givetnis, ye cheeks for not. I is a pro fach, swa u el, na huerta u. I was building a boat to carry my family to safety one day. And what of the orphans you left behind? Do they get a boat? A brigade of bastards. They are the only ones left ruling England. My people were of the Wiccan Kingdom. Now we are ruled by Christ-beaten bastards. Let us play. 
You are an eager one. Ah, sweet victory. Oh, you are pretty good. Shall we go again? Another time, perhaps. <laughs>